Hi, I'm Lauren Miller. I'm an account manager here on the PPC team at SEER. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to use the Keyword Planner tool. So what even is the Keyword Planner tool? It really serves two functions. The first is being able to find new keywords for you to add to your account. And the second is for you to be able to get estimates and projections for how much those keywords are going to spend. So you're able to place your website or your client's website's domain into Keyword Planner Tool, and then Keyword Planner Tool spits back out terms that you should have coverage for in your account. So a lot of times when clients come to us, they say they have these five offerings that they want to have coverage for, but maybe there's an one or two more that they didn't know that their website has, you know, coverage for that it would be relevant for us to place keywords into their account. Another way is for you to be able to find additional modifiers to add into existing keywords. So you're able to place keywords into the Keyword Planner tool, and then Google will spit out additional terms that they think that you should be adding with new modifiers. So for example, one of my clients is in the higher education space and I had put university in and then they're able to spit out school, classes, program, etc. for then me to be able to add those on to my existing keywords. Since Google is providing you additional keywords and recommending them to you, it's also a good opportunity for you to find any irrelevant terms that Google think will match to the keywords that you'd like to bid on. So for example, one of my clients had track engagement as one of their keywords or picture engagement, and Google is able to spit out to us that you're gonna get a lot of traffic about engagement pictures, engagement rings, et cetera, things like that, which are wow. not relevant at all to what my client was offering. So we're able to, from the very beginning, go ahead and add those terms as negative keywords so that we're not wasting money and on those terms. Now that you've solidified your keyword list, the second function of the Keyword Planner tool is to place your terms in there and then get projections based on them. So what you would do is just simply copy and paste your keywords into Keyword Planner tool, and then it will spit out the recommended bid, how much volume they think you're going to get on a weekly or monthly basis for these terms, and how much competition that you're going to receive from them. Since it tells you estimated volume for these keywords, you're able to, before they get put to your account, you're able to just take a look at them and see if there's any terms in particular that are going to get a ton of volume and maybe you don't want to either A, bid on them or B, if you do want to bid on them, then adjust your bid to make it lower so that way you're not spending a ton of money on these terms. To find this tool, all you have to do is just search in the search bar at the top right hand corner of AdWords or go to the tool section and then Keyword Planner will be listed right there. So there are a few times when you wanna use Keyword Planner tool especially. So first is if you're launching a brand new account and you need to figure out what terms you wanna to add to them. Another time of when you would wanna use this tool is if a client has a new service offerings and you wanna find additional terms related to that new service offering. Lastly, a good time to use this tool is if you wanna find projections for new terms because more often than not, clients will come to you and ask you for spend projections on these new offerings or additional themes that they wanna have coverage for, and they need to take it back to their internal team to figure out how much budget that they should allocate for this new offering. Now, all of this sounds great, but there's a few things that you wanna consider when using the Keyword Planner tool. First is that you cannot get proper projections for bra match modified terms. Google just does not have the capability to find out what the projections would be in terms of spend, uh, volume, et cetera, within the tool. So one way a workaround this is for you to add the term in as just a broad keyword, and then you can say, all right, here's how much that it is projecting, but we expect that it's gonna be around half that volume because you have the broad match modified version of that keyword. In addition is when you're uploading keywords is that you need to make sure that you're adjusting your geo-targeting. So the default setting is for you to use and target the enti entire United States, which 
realistically for all clients that is not what they want to do especially if they have a lot of local play one workaround is for you to be able to just set the specific city that you want to target and then just estimate based on the radius that you're going to set that it's going to be x percent larger than the projections that it's going to provide you liked this video make sure to follow along the seer subscription what is it called <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to Sear Solves It to learn more about paid media and digital marketing.